Hello everyone, Mark Anson Audi here with some basic audio theory on interaural time and interaural level difference, the two fundamental ways that our hearing system and our brain determines the direction and location of a sound. So if I click my fingers over here, I can tell that that sound's coming from this direction. So let's talk about interaural time difference first. So when I click my fingers here, this is my sound source, my fingers. The shortest possible distance between my fingers here and this ear and my fingers here and my left ear, uh, there is a difference in the time. It's just the sound has to travel a little bit further to get all the way across here. The difference between those two times is known as the interaural time difference. And as that difference increases, uh, we get a different way we can tell the difference in the angle that the sound is coming from. So if I click my fingers directly in front of my face, the, uh, the sound is traveling the same distance to both ears. There is no difference in time. Whereas if I click them all the way over here, we're going to get the sound just going to come to this ear and it has to go all the way across to the other side of my head before I can get to my left ear. So that's the interaural time difference. The interaural level difference uh, is, much, is to do more with the kind of amplitude of the sound. So again, if I click my fingers over here, we have the direct sound is going to go right to here. And then the other, to get to the other ear, that sound has to go all the way through my head, essentially. Um, and my head acts as a shader, as we call it. Basically, it's, my head is going to absorb a bunch of frequencies, mainly high frequency information. So by the time that sound gets all the way to my left ear, it's going to be weaker. A lot of the sound will have been, the energy will have been absorbed by my head. Uh, the frequency content will be ever so slightly different. And the difference between the, the sound hitting this ear and then the sound hitting this ear is known as the interaural level difference. So one of the fascinating things about audio is it's still quite a complex and an unknown field. There's a lot of theories, but we're never 100% certain on a lot of these things. Uh, so no one's really managed to determine precisely if our brain uses more interaural time difference or interaural level difference to determine the location of a sound, it's really a sort of mix of the two, and no one can tell which one is more prominent. Uh, but there is evidence to suggest that interaural level difference is perhaps more effective at determining the high frequency information uh, and the location of high frequency sounds, and the interaural time difference is more to do with the low frequency content, but there is some crossover in frequency content between interaural time and level difference. This is known as duplex theory. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a basic introduction to the two concepts. There's a lot of further reading you can do on those, uh, which you'll find in pretty much any good textbook. Uh, so my name's been Mark Anson Audio. Adios.